there's a recent survey that said over half of us haven't actually discussed with our loved ones and our families how we want to be buried, what kind of funeral we want, and 60% of us haven't even made a will. So we wondered why is it so difficult? And it was interesting because just this week, or just week just gone, Eamon and I did a, a review of our wills, which we do about every five years. And it's the most difficult thing to do because you have to have really hard conversations and be very practical as well so that it's very emotional and yet you've, you're being practical saying okay well if you die first this is what happens what about the children what if we die together you know say yeah. a car accident I mean it's awful it's really awful but I always feel so much better when we've done it because everything is is laid out it's specified including are how we would like our funerals to be because mm. Eamon wants to be buried they have a family grave you know he's a Catholic um, I don't want to be buried I want to be cremated I want to be scattered I don't want to be in a grave anywhere and he found that very strange when we first met. Have you planned it down to sort of hymns and flowers? No and stuff I haven't like got that, that well. far and uh, although a lot of people do that well, well can Bernie I just did say that, that um, yeah because Bernie realized you know she mm. was going to die she totally planned her funeral down to who sat in what cars and I mean I cannot tell you how because it you know people grieve in different ways people want different mm. things but the great thing that she did was she took all the rowing if there was going to be any mm. out of the situation so even if people thought oh I don't like that idea you could just go this is what Bernie what wanted, wanted. And, it, and it really brought it home to me actually how important it is to do that for the people left behind. It's very true, actually, because mm. most weeks you see something in the papers, don't you? An argument. I think there's a story this week about a brother and sister arguing about how to, whether yeah. to, which religion yeah. to bury their mother yeah. via, and you know, and it ends up going mm. to court. Mm. And thing like um, organ donation. You know, I, I've said I'm, I'm on the organ donation register, but also I said anything you want for you know medical research, just take it. I don't want it, and I know that that. Eamon wouldn't make that decision easily no, if it didn't. wasn't written down. And I think in a moment of emotional stress, you know, if they asked him, could they have my body, he'd say no. Yeah. And I, but I want that. So I said, it's there. Um, and I think it takes a lot of the pain away for people when it's, it's specified. Yeah, yeah, but it's yeah. quite hard I'd... to do. Have you got a will, Hilary? Half. Half a will. <laughs> <laughs> well, it got so, it's so complicated and so complex because... It kind of goes on because I put it into a trust mm. um, because I, the last thing I wanted was for my son to inherit a lot of money mm. at any one time. So, you know, I wanted it to be measured and I wanted him to have a measured life. <laughs> but then it goes on who inherits the trust and what happens when he goes and, and what happens. And you have executors, happens. don't you, yeah. that have to carry yeah. out, look so after So only the trust. half and, and literally I've been doing it for three years on and on. Wow. Yeah, so that's the sort complete. of business side, isn't it? I mean, yeah. I had a very close friend who, like, your yeah. sister knew she was dying and asked me to do, I think they call it a living will, don't mm. they, where you yeah. sort of sit and... It was so. It was. It was a really weird but really special experience. We spent the whole afternoon just going through and she wrote down what flowers she wanted and what hymns yeah. she wanted. And it, it made the funeral that bit more special because, you know, when you go to a funeral and it's a bit what I call like a boilerplate <laughs> service where... The vicar's talking about the person, and you think, well, you didn't really know them, and yeah. it's something they've just, you know. So when it's really special to that person, mm. I just think it. Well, like my brother-in-law, so um, Brian, when he died, Linda's husband, because he'd been in the business years as a tour manager, his coffin was um, a flight case, <laughs> and it had like fragile this way up, and all the stickers <laughs> that fly, and all the um, pallbearers wore just sweatshirts with um, access all area passes on, and. The brochure was like um, a concert brochure. And, it, you know, instantly you got there and it made you smile because that's what he did. He was mm. so funny. Yeah. And it, yeah. it just, you know, funerals are horrible. You, you know, they're the worst thing ever. So if you can make them in any way... There's one. That was somebody's coffin, a ballet shoe. Oh. Yeah. That's, that's, a that's, rather, that's a coffin. Yeah. Oh, that's a coffin. That's rather God. lovely, isn't it? Oh! oh. <laughs> that's that's scary. Scary. My dread would be having a Louis Vuitton coffin and then I got cremated and burned it with the coffin. I'd have to come back and do it. <laughs> We've got some uh, great comments here, actually. Tracy says, I've decided I want to be buried in the back garden to kill off the weeds. <laughs> <laughs> um, Liv says, I'm 21 and I know what I want at my funeral already. I have plans written down and placed in an envelope along with letters to my loved ones. Oh, at 21. Oh, nice. Um, 
Oh, I'm not reading Paul's. No. Sue, I've written my funeral plan. I'd like to be wrapped in a sheet and carted off to sea. Ooh. Sounds like you. You have to be. Yeah, like I don't you. care where I go. I think you're. I, 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 I think it's, I think it's you a good time, isn't it? You can tell the truth in death. Can't yeah. You? yeah, but well, if all you those want... people you didn't like and had to be nice to along the Are way. Are you going to leave letters going yeah. by the way? Yeah. What's that? Yeah. Guest list. I'm halfway you through yours. Would you? <laughs> would you ban me? Would you ban me from your no, funeral? I would want you there weeping over. I would. You a big cat. Actually, ban people from your funeral. Oh, what can't you? Can't? No, everyone is legally entitled yeah, to go to true, a funeral, actually. which oh. is why you get like a mistress throwing herself across a coffin in the middle of a. You know, <laughs> that's better not <laughs> happen. That at my funeral. <laughs> Telling you now. Telling you now. Did you not think that there are a, a public place. Well, that was a cheery thing to end on. 